But having said that, what I really like about uh, our real estate income fund um, is that we have the ability to step on the accelerator and the brake. And so when you look over the past, well, since our inception in 2002, we've been able to generate about a 10% annualized return since inception with about 30 to 40% less volatility than the market. So when we sense that maybe it's a little tougher to find value in the equity market, we start to look at other segments of the capital structure like preferred stocks and CMBS and REIT corporate debt to get attractive risk-adjusted returns. And so we may not do double-digit, uh, but we're structuring the fund to deliver an acceptable return, but hopefully with a lot less risk. And if we're right, it's okay. If we're wrong, investors are, are going to hold up with a more conservative profile. In terms of where you're finding the best opportunities sector-wise, mm -hmm. what looks interesting now? I mean, we have had strong performance in a number of sectors, but what's the standout to you now? Um, apartments have lagged last year and this year. I think that's an area that, that people should probably focus on again. Uh, a lot of discussion has been, well, the single-family housing market is now rebounding. Uh, home builders are going to build maybe a million units next year. So that must be the death knell for apartments. And I don't think that's so. If you look back in history, the two have coexisted quite nicely. And we still think even with a recovering single family market, uh, apartment REITs will still deliver rent increases above the rate of inflation. Mm -hmm. Another segment of the market that we like um, is West Coast Office. Uh, the likes of Google, Salesforce, uh, many of the other tech firms are continuing to expand. And Kilroy has a very nice business built up on the West Coast, San Francisco, San Diego, Seattle. Um, and so we think they're in a really good spot to see continued rental increases uh, from this market. So we don't think that's over yet.